Well here we are in Horton in Ribblesdale and uh, my caving suit looking a bit worse for what? <laughs> I think I might need a patch sewed on that, Joe. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. It must be 20 odd years old. It's raining and um, I asked loads of people if they wanted to come caving with me this weekend. I usually go once a year and throughout the year people say, oh, I'd love to have a go at that. And then surprisingly when I ask people if they want to come, they all chicken out for some reason. So, I'd, I'd come, but I've got to look after Louie. Yeah, love, Louie doesn't particularly like caves. I love caving. So there's a few more people here, there's a couple of outdoor centres. So um, it's not the best idea to go caving by yourself, but I do know this cave really well. And as I say, there's quite a few other people already down there. So um, we're going to have a look what it's like in the caves. What do you think to the app? It's me. Very fetching. What do you think, Louie? What do you reckon, Lou? Yeah, you just want to go for a walk, don't you? Hmm? There's the information regarding access. And of course, with all that cattle and uh, sheep around there at the moment, there's no dogs allowed in there, even on a lead.
just had a quick look around the caves today um, obviously it's not sensible to go caving by yourself I do know the cave very well I stayed out of the dangerous areas I left message with Joe as well to say that uh, if I'm not out at a certain time to give the cave rescue a, a call for me I should probably ring the insurance company first man but uh, I hope you enjoyed that experience I just hope the film's come out okay can't really see much out here today it's a bit overcast a little bit of rain there's another entrance to one of the caves there over there in that cloud is Penny Ghent and over there in the far distance it's about five or six miles is um, Hotting Ribblesdale and over that side is Wainside, Ingleborough and the uh, the viaduct. That section of the cave I've just shown you, it's like one of our test caves really. If we bring somebody and want to do some of the deeper explorations of this cave, you need to make sure that people are not going to start to panic when they get enclosed. Particularly if they've not done anything like this before, they probably don't even know themselves. So we use that little squeeze through there that I've just shown you. There's a test and we get them to crawl through there and if they're okay in that bit they're generally okay for the rest of it. It is a very safe cave. The main thing you need to worry about is the weather. If there's lots of rain, there's been lots of rain, the ground's very wet and there's going to be some heavy downpours. You don't want to be in there. There has been people killed in that cave from drowning. This section here, that's all enclosed around this dry stone wall is uh, Allen Pot and it's basically just uh, a cave where the roof's fallen in and the waterfall we went to have a look at inside ends up in there. I have been down there many years back um, it's hard work because you have to abseil down and then you have to use ascenders on ropes to go back up again and I think it's about 50 meters something like that down to the bottom there's lots of uh, organizations that run caving around here you can obviously look on the internet and book through that and they do groups or they do individuals and they do different levels and many different caves around the Yorkshire Dales to go and have a look at and if you're interested from there on you can go and do some qualifications maybe join a caving club if you go into Ingleton and go to a cafe called Bernie's Cafe he's a famous climber and caver from around these areas there's lots of uh, leaflets and posters on the wall there of different organisations that you can go and uh, have a go at caving or climbing or other activities around the Yorkshire Dales. It is just one massive beautiful playground though. Every, uh, I think it's about three times a year, you can actually book a place to go down Gaping Gill. Gaping Gill is a massive cavern, under, underground cavern. It's got a small entrance and the local cave club set up a bosun's chair and they drop you down it must be about 200 foot something like that down to the bottom me and joe have done it a few times we've actually been down there with uh, some other caving friends and did about three kilometers underground on that day as well which was excellent but uh, you have to book that in advance great experience you get some fantastic photographs and it's really well run well set up you book a time slot so you're not standing standing about for hours highly recommend that as well hopefully the sun's going to come out in a bit it's not a bad view even with this low cloud to get access to Allen Pot and Long Chain Cave so the ones we've just been in um, it's across private farmers land and he obviously has to maintain the paths uh, the area for parking and the dry stone walls around the caves and the safety element of it so uh, he charges, it's a pound now, it used to be 50p he missed being 50p for must be about 20 years but he's just put it up to a pound per person and you just pop out the farm, pay your pound he gives you a ticket and that gives you full access to his land to enable you to get to the caves and it helps him with the upkeep of the cave system um, safety elements as well obviously if they didn't have the dry stone walls around them 
and the barriers, people could potentially just wander into them and get themselves into all sorts of difficulty. If we come in a 4x4, we usually pack about this end, which saves the walk, but not in the camper van. Let's go and see if Joe's got the kettle on. I was going to say a beat, but I've got a bit of driving to do yet. I'm going to drive down to Halls now, up to the campsite there for a couple of nights. Go and check out the pubs. Here we go, back out the camper van. Have you got that kettle on? You are? Well, you better get her out again. Hey, Lulu. It was very good. I enjoyed that. Oh, good. Alright, yeah. we're just about to come and see you. We're just about to start climbing the hill. Well, there's a sign because there's cattle in there. There's no dogs in there at uh, all, so you won't be allowed in. Where are you going, Louis? Oi, skinny dog. He's just had his tea. Get that kettle back on. Good, that. It's uh, not a lot of water down there, I'm pleased to say. That's a lot of horse flies over there. Didn't see anybody else down there. We just went, uh, had a quick look around the outside and a bit of the main passage down to Dr. Bannister's. Up Dr. Bannister's, which wasn't easy trying to hold a camera, a torch, film it and climb up there. <laughs> but uh, it's nice, it's good. And I feel the temperature difference when you come out. It's really cool down there, isn't it? So, I'll we'll have a cup of coffee. I come my proper caving head torch. The batteries are gone and they've leaked in the unit. So I took three cheap head torches. They're not bad actually. They work quite well. I think two of them are yours. Are they? <laughs> Charming. Right then, let's uh, have a cup of coffee. I'll get changed. Get out my wet undercrackers. Have I split my pants anymore? <laughs> Oh, not a great look. I've had that I'm emotionally attached to this suit. I can't get rid of it. It's been through a lot. Still fits me. It was given to me second hand anyhow. Uh, right, let's get ready and get gone. Are we off to the campsite? Yeah. Halls, here we come. So, as we're in halls, having chips in the rain, what are these rate out of 10 for the cat score? Um, cat score is 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. 7 out of 10. Has Louis tested them? Yeah. He declined them though, didn't he? Maybe it's a, maybe it's a 6 then. I think he's been put off with the weather. Mm. Joe, just come and have a look at this. Is this cow blue or is it me? She's beautiful. Is that a she's, blue cow? She's lovely. Is that a milker cow? Is it milker? That company? They're Lalak. Oh. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? That's blue though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a grey colour. That's you blue. See, you don't see that very often. 